Good evening, Simon here, Explosive Action, with my next DVD, Blu-ray, and single VHS update. It may be the last day of August, but this is my September update. Why the hell not? Three piles, let's get cracking. And we'll start with the VHS first, there's just one of them. And it's a film called Street Soldiers. You got the uh, foil cover there. This is a uh, film not on DVD, which is pretty much the only type of tape I buy these days. And, um... Oh, the glare. Anyway, it's about um, a, uh, a gang versus a gang of uh, high school students. High school students fail at defeating the gang, so they enlist martial arts expert. And it's all on, and it's rated R. And it's directed by a guy called Lee Harry. There you go. Lee Harry's film. I enjoy that it says Action Brothers Production. Action Brothers. Anywho, I haven't watched this one yet, but it's a nice palace tape, nice palace case, and I got it very cheaply, and it's an action film, not on DVD, which is the kind of thing I want to get, so awesome. Moving right along, DVDs now. This is Science Crazed, reverse art here, put out by uh, Videonomicon, which is a really cool name for a label. Uh, I think this is only like their second release. Um, haven't checked this out yet, but it looks bizarre, just like mental. Um... Shot on video uh, horror from 89 Canadian films, so a bit of can exploitation here. I've seen comparisons to things, so if it's anything like things, this is going to be crazy. And um, yeah, like I said, the uh, reverse art is what I chose, I preferred it. You can see the other art behind the disc there, and that's the disc, and you get the booklet. It's a nice little package, really. Um, so it's cool to see a new label doing some uh, doing some packaging like that. So that's science crazed. Next one in the shot on video department is Ghoul School from Camp Motion Pictures. This one looks really cheap and really fun. It's certainly packed full of stuff. All kinds of stuff on this. It looks fantastic. I quite dig the Camp Motion Pictures. Video Violence is probably my favourite one so far. But, um, yep, yeah, awesome. Another one for the collection, Ghoul School. Now, <laughs> I expect complete pain from this. Cross Wars, it's apparently a sequel to a film called Cross. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. Um, I saw it coming up on my uh, Coming Soon JB Hi-Fi action films list. And it was like, it only got released in like July. I found this at, not even a pawnbroker, I found this at a charity store for a dollar. It had already been given away. It was barely out of the shrink wrap. That tells you how good this is going to be. But hey, Vinnie Jones and Danny Trio means I'm instantly watching this film. That's it's just enough, enough said. Goal of the Dead. Goal of the Dead. I've been wanting to check this one out for ages and just, just never happened. Uh, French uh, zombie horror comedy. And uh, I mean, the idea is pretty sound. You get soccer, you get zombies. They're going to kick the head. Awesome. Hopefully it's good. I've heard it's a mixed bag, but, you know, high impact blood and gore and Asylum. Now, that's not the Asylum, not Sharknado Asylum. That's just uh, Asylum's a sub-label of Madman out here. Or they put all their crazier shit. And Gold of the Dead, well, that's certainly going to be one of those. Lady Blood Fight. What a title. She's the champion. Yep, haven't checked this out. I really should check this one on pretty soon. Uh, yep, modern uh, um, Forced to Fight film, which, uh, you yeah, know, Forced to Fight is always the best stuff in terms of um, not martial arts. I suppose it is martial arts, but just modern uh, fighting, modern fight films. Nice, cheap DTV fodder, Lady Blood Fight. I'm sure it's going to be fun. And we got another IVL, a Shaw Brothers release here, the Super Inframan. <laughs> now, I admit I've never seen any of these things before, any of this kind of, um, oh, the word that comes to me is Power Rangers, but I'm going to get beaten up for saying that, but that kind of thing, um, I've never watched any of them before, and um, this just fell in my lap for a very good price, and um, yeah, I was happy to pick it up, so I will uh, check out Super Inframan for the uh, fun action, it's pint-sized Godzillas, okay, awesome. I'm sure it'll be good fun. Super Inframan. I believe it just got a German Blu-ray. 
Uh, two more Hong Kong Legends uh, Australian releases knocked off the list, and these were both brand new and sealed. Very happy to get these. Spiritual Kung Fu, Jackie Chan. Yeah, really happy to get this one. I love the HKO releases. They just awesome quality. Really, really good stuff. And the second one is uh, Samo Hung, Iron Fisted Monk. Samo looking quite young there. I doubt the uh, R rating holds up today, but, um, you know, that's what it was rated. And uh, next one, Female Yakuza Tail. Long deleted. I was lucky to get this one. A killer samurai sexploitation. Awesome. Uh, it has a sequel called Sex and Fury, so hopefully I'll better find that as well. Um, when's this from? 60s? 73. 73. It's a Toei film. Um, yep. I expect this to be good fun indeed. Female Yakuza Tail. And there you can see behind it, that's uh, Sex and Fury. And... Um, I looked it up on IMDb. These may be the two that were released here, but there's like nine or ten other things. So uh, I'm not sure if the others have had English-friendly releases at all, but uh, there you go. It's female Yakuza Tale. And the last DVD. Got to end on some sci-fi channel crap. Gargoyle Wings of Darkness. Cost me a fiver, including shipping, so the poor eBay seller made a whole $2.50. And I'm sure that's how much entertainment I will get out of Gargoyle Wings of Darkness. R1 DVD, anamorphic, and that's about the best thing you're going to hope for from a sci-fi channel film. And on to the Blu-rays now. The first film is a Monster Pictures release. This is Julia. It's been out for a couple of years now, and I was just waiting for a good price. I got it in uh, JB Buy 2 Get 1 Free sale, and that was about three months ago, and then it just took forever to actually arrive. Uh, don't know what happened there, but anyway got it now um i've heard many good things about this one obviously it's a nice spit on your grave style film so if you're not into the uh revenge film then you will probably not like this one at all but um i do like them from uh, time to time so i will check out julia as i said i've heard good things with a good twist in that one so new release from glass doll you thought they were disappearing or something like haven't done anything in a while but we finally have the survivor um which is a port of the, uh, is it Severin or Synapse? I can't remember, one of the two. Uh, actually, I believe it's a port of the uh, the American disc anyway, and um, which is funny because it's an Australian film. But uh, yeah, this is a nice upgrade for me from um, the Scorpion DVD, which looked pretty good, by the way, but you know, here we are with um, the Blu-ray, and uh, I haven't checked out the print on this one. Oh. You get a booklet in there, which is cool. That's the art that was on the um, other disc. I wish they used that art, because this isn't a, this isn't great to be honest. I don't think it's double sided. That would be ideal. No, it's not. Not double sided. That is a bit of a shame. I suppose it's not too bad, but you know, it is what it is. So that's the Survivor on Blu-ray. Um, I expect it to be a good print. New release, uh, Death Note, Light Up the New World. I really dug the uh, Death Note films, the first two. Um, I dug them more than the anime. I thought the anime just kept going on and on and on. The films uh, nipped it in the bud much much more, uh, much more, tighter, better delivery. And I really loved the, um, the CG they did on the... Um, on the um, what the hell are they called? I've just forgotten what the bloody things are called. I'll just call them the monsters, but anyway... You know what they are. I forgot what their names are. Um, I haven't seen this one yet. Um, I know it's mainly a newer cast, as you see. You can't have you, you don't see the uh, originals in here, but the um, the original Light and the original L are both in the film. The, you know, the actors are both portraying the roles again, so that's about all I know at this point. Um, but I'm assuming they're quite minor roles, given that they are not on the cover. Um, apparently, it takes a bit of a a um, digital theme, just like Rings did. It's, um, you know, rehashing the same thing again. John Wick too. John Wick was fantastic. Um, still haven't chucked in number two yet, actually. This is the JB exclusive cover, which is much better than the other stupid thing that I've seen. It looks like a rainbow. Um, yeah, this is pretty awesome. Love that cover. Uh, yeah, the first film was fantastic. That was the kind of thing I really wanted to see uh, when I saw it, and... Uh, 
I'm sure that this is going to be just as good, if not better. I've heard that it is actually possibly better, so that'll be cool. Brand new release, well, tomorrow technically, but happened to be on the shelf today. Yes, the Void's been out in the UK for like th three months and the US like four months or something like that. I don't know. We finally got our release of it and uh, thankfully it's quite feature packed and has decent audio and even has uh, subtitles for the hard of hearing, if that's your bang. Um, so yeah, the Void has been getting quite the wraps. Look at that. High level, high impact science fiction themes and violence. Oh yeah. Bring on the sci-fi gore is what I say. Um, I expect to really enjoy this. I, I know it's not an Astron 6, but it is directed by the same guys. And um, I've enjoyed everything else they've done, so I'm sure I'll enjoy The Void. Get Out. Get the fuck it. Get Out. I really enjoyed Get Out. Saw that in the cinema. Um, it had the hype train, of course. I tried to ignore most of that. Just go in and watch a movie at the movies, and I did, and I really enjoyed it. And I didn't predict where it was going, so that was... Uh, that was a bonus. And um, I think it's got rewatch value, so I will check out and get out again. Speaking of rewatch value, the amount of times I've watched Warlock, man. Um, and of course, as soon as I got this set, I popped it in again. Warlock is, is, I could almost say, top 10 horror for me. It's just like a warm blanket. You just return to it. Keeps you cosy. Don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, Warlock collection. You get one, two, and three. By which I mean you get one and two and uh, some other film called Warlock that should not be included. Uh, two is just as good as one. It's just, it's crazy. It's like having Crank and Crank High Voltage. That's that's Warlock Armageddon. It's just turn up to 11. Um, yeah, absolutely love those two films. So really, really happy to get uh, Julian Sands in HD for my collection. And uh, next up we have uh, the double of The Knight of the Sorcerers and The Laurelies Grasp. Now I had the German blue of Laurelies Grasp. I haven't checked out the transfer of that on here, but I watched uh, Knight of the Sorcerers because I hadn't seen it before. And that was uh, quite good fun, quite silly too, but um, it was uh, it was certainly uh, what I was expecting and I got it and I was happy. Knight of the Sorcerers. Um, so yeah, this is definitely worth checking out. It's a nice bundle double from... Uh, from Scream Factory, um, and I'm sure the Laurel Lee's Grasp is as good, or if not better, than the German Blue that I am replacing it with. Man, these covers that they're doing on these slips are just fantastic. This is The Bride from Hell, another 88 uh, in the uh, Asian collection, number 11. They are, I didn't get the slips in the first eight, which I kind of regret, but um, it's all right. I'm getting them in the next eight because... Uh, Ah, uh, just, I am this time. And, um, yeah, they're doing a really good job with the, uh, with the, um, presentation of these, uh, Shaw Brothers films, so I've been really happy with that so far. And, uh, yep, haven't checked out this one yet, Bride from Hell. So that will be in the player sometime soon, as will The Flying Guillotine. What a cover. I love how they're using these original posters, just fantastic. So this is number 10 in the series. Awesome. Let's see if that one's any good as well. And uh, Luther the Geek and their Slasher Collection line. Um, this is a, It's hard to see, but they've done some cool stuff with this cover here. Uh, it's sort of multiple layers, not physically, but just the print. It has a sort of a 3D effect in person. It's really quite cool. Um, I didn't get the uh, Vinegar Syndrome of this, so I was happy to get the 88, which I'm sure is probably similar or probably even the same print, who knows. It'd be a bit of a coincidence if it wasn't struck from the same master, so Luther the Geek. Um, am I upgrading a DVD? I don't think I ever had. No, I do. I have got the DVD of this. Well, that can go in the bin now because it's a very old Troma DVD and they were pretty pissed poor quality, so... Nice upgrade of Luther the Geek. And this one showed up. Anthropophagus. Try and say that five times fast. Um, this was my extra bonus with the um, 88 Films Italian Collection campaign. And it showed up. It took a while. Slightly miffed that the people that um, 
just paid the money later, got it before the backers, but you know, that's what happens. Uh, really nice slip. They're doing something with their slips now, as in the, the texture is... I almost want to say it's got like a rubber coating. It's weird, but it's really, really nice. Um, haven't checked out the improved print on this. I understand it's better. Probably the best it'll look, uh, but not like night and day between the old Blu-ray. Uh, but that's fine. And um, I'll be keeping that as well because uh, the old Blu-ray's got different features. It's got the uh, 42nd Street Theatre... Uh, documentary on it. This one does not, so worth keeping both. Oh my lord, another edition of Zombie Creeping Flesh, aka Virus, aka Hell of the Living Dead. Um, haven't checked out the print on this guy. Um, love the film. Um, I've got the Hell of the Living Dead and Rats Double from Blue Underground, which, um, assuming 88 do rats, which at this rate, I'm, it's just a matter of time, then um, I'll happily have rats as well with a nice slip case and uh, let the blue undies double go somewhere else so yep don't need to say much about this film it's fantastic it's Bruno Mattai and this is this is the most rubbery of their covers Jesus getting a texture fetish just out of these 88 films covers fantastic next one I don't know anything about this one this is oh man I flipped it uh, Django uh, god what the hell was it uh, pardon me a moment. I've forgotten which of the damn Django's it is. Django Kill. There you go. Better known as C Save It. I'm sorry, I just won't do it. No, sorry, I know literally nothing about this film. It was just the next one in the series. Um, one of the few times that I have no idea what I'm getting into with um, the Italian line. I usually know at least something about the films, but that's actually quite exciting. I can uh, go in blind and uh, see what I think of it. And, oh, not going in blind here. Oh, beautiful. Reanimator, box it from uh, Arrow US. Might already be out of print. I know it was heading that way. Nice heavy-ass box. Um, it's It almost survived postage. Everybody seems to be getting the same... Bride of Reanimator Syndrome, which is just bloody annoying. Anyway, you get all kinds of goodies with this. Is it going to come out? Yep. I'm sure you've all seen other people's by now, but you get a uh, nice fold-out disc set, two discs, normal cut and the integral cut, nice little cards, promo cards, really, really nice booklets. Uh, all kinds of business there, and you get a um, big comic book, which is really, really well done. So it's a nice set there. That's Reanimator, the Arrow set. Highly recommend you get it if you still can. And lastly, well, I made this very big Kino order. Kino Lorber were having a huge sale. It was not open to international customers, but with a friend of mine, uh, we... Still made a very large order and uh, had it shipped via um, a uh, reshipper uh, from the States to Australia. And um, as it was a free shipping from Kino to uh, the uh, domestic reshipper, that actually worked out very cheap. So um, I got 15 Blu rays here and I'm very excited. And uh, I literally got them yesterday, so I've had zero chance to uh, do anything but get the, the uh, shrink wrap off. But let's go through these ones. I picked up Journey to the Seventh Planet. One I have seen before on DVD. I've got it on a multi-pack somewhere. Um, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm happy to upgrade this one. And uh, Kino do really, really nice work. They're like the unsung heroes at the moment. You've got your Shout Factories and your um, Vinegar Syndromes all you know, screaming from the hills. But Kino just quietly say, hey, this movie's coming out and they release it, and then they go, oh, and the next movie's coming out, and that's that's all they do. No big uh, song and dance from them. Neptune Factor, look at that art. It's amazing. And that's the other thing about Kino, is they just they try and use the um, poster art or whatever is the best representation of the film um, from the day. Haven't seen Neptune Factor, 1973 sci-fi. Who's in this one? And Ben, who? Ben Gazzara. 
not saying, not, not really sure who the uh, actors are in this one. Oh, Ernest Borgnine, there you go, is a name I recognise. Neptune Factor. Certain Fury, Tatum O'Neill, Irene Cara, Peter Fonda, and Moses Gunn. Awesome. 1985 action that I've never seen. I've heard very good things about Certain Fury. Curse of the Faceless Man. Awesome. I really needed to get more 50s sci-fi into my collection. I've got quite a few older DVDs, but I really think I need to see a lot of the um, black and white 50s sci-fis in proper prints to really appreciate them. And um, I'm really going to enjoy doing that, going through these ones. And they're very short. Look at 67 minutes. You can burn through a bunch of them at a time. Invisible Invaders. Look at that art. Earth given 24 hours to surrender. 67 minutes again. Why can't movies be like that anymore? Honestly, I'm getting sick of two and a half hours just to watch a bunch of superheroes beat each other up. Chuck Norris, Hero and the Terror. A bit of the odd one out in this, <laughs> this selection, to be honest. Um, and, uh, yeah, nice bit of uh, um, canon Chuck here that... Um, when uh, now that I've got this means that one of my legacy DVD box sets of multiple films can go, which is nice. Truck Turner, I've heard so many great things about this one, and I saw one clip that had me on the floor laughing in hysterics. So some black exploitation from 1974 with Isaac Hayes, fantastic. Last of the Finest with uh, Brian Dennehy. This is a cool film upgrade from the um, Manufacture on Demand DVD put out about five years ago. Really happy that they did that too. Look at look at the friggin' cast. Jeff Fay, Bill Paxton. Awesome. Nineteen ninety this one. It feels like an eighties film to me, but yeah, nineteen ninety. Orion Pictures. Love Orion Pictures. Meteor. I think this will probably be the first one I chuck on. Um I've heard so many good things about it and um I love a good quality disaster film. Sean Connery, Martin Landau. This is gonna be amazing. Just fantastic. Nineteen seventy nine. I love Kino. I just do everything you get is fantastic. The Monster That Challenged the World. Amazing art. 1957. 83 minutes. That's positively epic <laughs> for a 50s film. That would be great. Great fun. This one's probably my favourite art. I just think it's so classy. Magnetic Monster. Awesome. 1953. I'm getting excited just looking at these. Highway to Hell, got a bit of a um, bit of a um, following um, when this was released. I think a year, a year and a half ago, had a lot of people talking about it, and um, I was planning on getting it, and uh, it just didn't happen. But yep, now I've got it. Nineteen ninety one. Nineteen ninety one. I look forward to checking this one out. I, I you can see I've reversed a few of the artworks here. This is not the standard one, but um, I didn't like that flaming head art at all this is much better as i've reversed this one as well classic star crystal haven't seen star crystal when i say classic i mean the artwork um i asked my good friend extra the mutilator about star crystal and he said it was a very good film but not what i should expect um, i looked at it and thought that's going to be something like galaxy of terror he said don't expect that so knowing not to expect that this should be an interesting ride star crystal from 1986. Good fun. Another MOD upgrade. The Siege of Firebase Gloria. Wingshauser. R. Lee Ermey. What a cast. This is a Brian Trenchard Smith film. A very good one too. Really happy that I can chuck out the uh, DVD-Rs and have a proper pressed Blu-ray of these films. And the last one is Trouble Man. Another that I was told basically you need to buy this. So here I am buying Trouble Man. 20th Century Fox, big name, 1972. And that is the Kinos. They all have very similar spines, don't they? Kind of wish that um, they did like Scorpion and had um, proper artwork spines, but you know, that's a very minor gripe. Anyway, that's this update. Fairly big one. Hope you all stuck around. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next time.